to Atlantic City for the 1981 WBC light heavyweight title bout between the champion Matthew Saad Muhammad and the challenger Dwight Braxton here on ESPN Classic. Introducing the principals. In the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with the black trim and the black lettering, he is weighing in at 174 and three quarter pounds from Camden, New Jersey, the challenger, the Camden Massage Dwight Braxton. Braxton. And his opponent in the red corner, wearing the black trunks with the gold trim and the gold lettering, he is tipping the scales at 174 and one half pounds. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the World Boxing Council World Heavyweight Champion, Matthew Saad Muhammad. Saad Muhammad. All right, we're about ready for the action. It's a 20 by 20 ring, 10 point must scoring system, three knockdown rule. Wave the tail of the tape being set before you. Again, Saad Muhammad had to take off three pounds this morning. That shows you the height differential and the reach edge that I've already referred to, but Braxton has a way of diminishing that edge. This one could be a war. It figures to be a tough fight. And Saad Muhammad's stamina, perhaps a key question. Arthur McCanny, the third man in the ring, the best there is in all the world at what he does. And the knockdown timer, the alternate referee, Tony Perez, himself a distinguished third man in the ring. The bell for the start of round one. Now watch to see if Saad Muhammad keeps trying to work that jab to box the opponent. And thus, in a sense, change his style. Try to keep Braxton off. Bring it up now. Bring it up. 25 seconds into the fight. Saad Muhammad is at the moment wary, trying to use that left. We are using a new camera above ringside, just above it, at ringside, and it operates by remote control, a development of the ABC engineering department. It was first used by us in the Holmes Leon Spinks fight. The Holmes Snipes fight, I should have said. Obvious strategy by Saad Muhammad in this first round. Keep Dwight Braxton off him using the left jab. Boxing. Wild amateurish lunge by Braxton. Trying to get in to fight his fight the way he did against Rossman and against Scott. seconds to go. Round one counting down as you can see.
for round two. Between rounds, Sam Solomon, trainer in Saad Muhammad's corner. You did exactly right. Keep that left hand in his face. Don't let him get inside of him. Strategy, ring tactics so far, at least in planning, being established in the first round. Braxton will keep coming or trying to. Bilal Muhammad is the manager. Saad Muhammad. Wenzel McCall and Wesley Muzan are the co-managers of Braxton. That's right, Jim. Man Control. Control. Doubled up quickly on the left, Braxton did. Saud Muhammad's left hand held at his side. Leaving him perhaps susceptible to the right. See where the left is? Just turned from the corner, perhaps, in the background. You've got your left hand too low. And Sam Solomon is right. Halfway through the second round. Good right by Saad Muhammad. Another good right. And the left one in there. He's fighting cleverly. Braxton not able to get to him. Using the left there. Doubling with him. Saving the right for well, whatever. Another good right. He's fighting his way. And he may have hurt Braxton. No, Braxton grins and leers, saying, I'm not hurt. Forget it. But the one possible, oh, a good right by Braxton. Hurt Saad Muhammad. You saw it. He kept that left hand low once too often. And now Braxton is getting to him. And this is in the more familiar pattern of Braxton fights. Suddenly, it happened with 40 seconds left in the round. The right that stunned Saad Muhammad. 10 seconds left in the second round. As suddenly, the action grow. And he's gotten in three good rights and one good left, Braxton has. And he's pouring the blows on Saad Muhammad. And And as I said, this one could be a war. Smiling and leering, Braxton waiting for the opportunity. Quickly trying to double on the left. It suddenly became a war when Saad Muhammad continued to make the mistake of keeping that left hand at his side in the manner of Thomas Hearns. And Hearns paid for that against Sugar Ray Leonard. Here, 30 seconds into the third round. Still fighting according to battle plan is Saad Muhammad. Boxing, trying to conserve himself. But once he was stunned by that initial right, he found himself wide open for a succession of blows, and he was hurt. But he has those remarkable recuperative powers. A warning about a low blow from Arthur McCanny, the referee, to Dwight Braxton. Now he's keeping his hands up, Saad Muhammad is. Working the left. Boxing Braxton. Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, a close friend of Saad Muhammad's, a past light heavyweight champion himself, in Saad Muhammad's corner, imploring him to keep his hands up. Braxton getting in the left, not once but twice, and then a third and fourth time. But
Sexton is head snapped back by a sharp sod Muhammad left. Less than a minute to go in the third round. In this round, Braxton not able to get, although he's trying here to get to Saad Muhammad, and he snaps Saad's head back with a left. It's hard to fight off when he gets inside like that, Mr. Braxton is. Saad Muhammad staying in ring center. A good right to the kidney area. to alert our local stations along the line that at the end of this round, we will take a station break. We'll be back with more of the WBC Light Heavyweight Championship fight. This from our local stations. underway here in Atlantic City. WBC Light Heavyweight Championship at stake. Matthew Saad Muhammad, his ninth defense to the right of your screen. Dwight Braxton, the challenger, number five rated contender, now to the right. Trying to move inside and getting there more frequently as the third round terminated. And remember the way he came on as the second round was in its final moment. the way Braxton likes it. Get that head on the other man's shoulder and pummel away with those snapping blows that take so much of your stamina away and hurt so much. He's got a body carved in concrete, Braxton does. Against the ropes, he continues his attack. Saad Muhammad getting the punishment. But we've seen this pattern so many times before. When will it be once too many? Uppercut snapping Saad Muhammad's head, as you saw. Good right lead by Saad Muhammad, then a left. But Braxton's doing the damage in this round. Now Saad Muhammad trying to come to life. Blood coming out of Saad Muhammad's nose all over his upper lip. Yes, it is a war. Less than a minute to go in the fourth round. Look at Braxton laying it on Saad Muhammad. is the one pinioned in the corner, but the one doing the punching. Saad Muhammad trying to come to life and did with a good right. But Braxton is having a tremendous round. Look at the blood coming out of Saad Muhammad's nose. Now Braxton going down to the midsection just momentarily. Once he's positioned inside, he uses the uppercut effectively, as you have seen. That's the end of round four, and we'll go to Saad Muhammad's corner. Wiping out off the blood immediately, coming out of the nose. Braxton's in fighting, a terrific early fourth round attack. Watch. Right in the left, another right. And then pinioned in that corner. It was Braxton who threw the furious blows with Saad Muhammad's face and head. The talk. Get tired, man. Get, get tired. Saad Muhammad being spoken to in his corner. You ready? Sam Solomon. 
Adar Fradaka, Salim El Amin. Those are the men in Saad Mohammed's corner. He's tired, He's tired. There's Braxton. And the bell for round five. That's what's at stake. saw what Mercani said. They can boo him, but they don't know what they're booing about. Arthur Mercani keeps better position and control of a fight than any referee within my memory. And I'm in this business 30 years and more. Forty-five seconds into the fifth round. Saad Muhammad trying to answer back, trying to recapture the control of the fight that he showed in the first round when he used his left so effectively. Braxton will have none of it. and where he can to the midsection. One must wonder if this time Saad Muhammad will not have the recuperative powers of the past. Look at that right lead. Muhammad holding his left low again. Braxton hurt him. Less than a minute left in this, the fifth round. The blood flow has not been reopened by Braxton from Saad Muhammad's nose. Mustafa Muhammad imploring Saad to keep those hands up, meaning specifically the left. Saad Muhammad against Dwight Braxton, and the two have really been going at it. WBC light heavyweight crown at stake. Braxton is proving himself a worthy contender.
the familiar Braxton position. Head on the opponent's shoulder. We have a minute to go in the sixth round. Saw that Both left hands. spin Saad Muhammad's Both head back. Wild right that missed by Braxton, Both a left hands. that connected, and Saad Muhammad trying to continue Both with boxing hands. basics, using Both the left hands. jab to keep Both Braxton hands. at bay but not succeeding as he did at the very start of the fight. First to the belly, then to the head, and more blood from the nose, and Braxton all over Saad Muhammad. End of the round. Now we'll stay here live in Atlantic City, New Jersey. There's the blood being wiped away again from Saad Muhammad's nose. What are you for? When are you gonna get him? Sam Solomon talking to Saad Muhammad. When are you going to get him? Bilal Muhammad, the manager, coming over to look at my scoring, which is strictly subjective, of course, as you're looking again at Braxton giving it to Saad Muhammad. I have Braxton. Slightly ahead at this point. But when one scores cards, and you saw that grinning leer, Braxton has left Saad Muhammad in ring center at the end of the round. And you can see the confidence in Braxton's face. The Camden buzzsaw, they call him, because he so often fights. All five feet, six and a half inches of him from a crouch and presents often a difficult talk. The terrible punishment Saad Muhammad took from Yaki Lopez. But then he KO'd Lopez in the 14th, knocking him down four times. Good right by Braxton, and that fatal deficiency. There's a left, keeping that left too low. to round seven. Blood from the left nostril again of Saad Muhammad. Can't make breathing easy. is puffing considerably from that left jab of Saad Muhammad. Fifty seconds left in round seven. Speaking for itself, you saw that uppercut shoot Saad Muhammad's head up, and another one. Once Braxton is inside of you, and again a quick snapping right. That's when Braxton can chew you up. 
working the right uppercut there as much as he could. And the left. Get out! Get out! Get out! And we are approaching the end of the seventh round of this WBC light heavyweight title fight. Let's look at that left that hurt Saad Muhammad. There it was, Sam Solomon, as we begin round eight, just saying to Saad Muhammad, you're blowing the title, man. Yes, it is round eight, and Braxton has been all over Saad Muhammad for the last four rounds. Will the stamina be this, there? throughout this fight. Will Saad Muhammad be able to come back? Has the weight loss affected that stamina? There is no movement, as you can see, in Saad Muhammad. He is essentially flat-footed. Minute and ten seconds into round eight. And for the fifth straight round, the pattern has been unchanged. It has been Braxton all over the champion. Up a cut. Right leads over a low left hand. Left hand getting in there occasionally and hurting the champion. Like that, for instance, and that. No movement from Saad Muhammad. Now, boxer man, you basically got to have movement. There's that right lead. Blood again, pouring out of. Saad Muhammad's nose. And Braxton knows what his opportunity is here now. In the short uppercuts. Incessant blows by White Braxton. The leather keeps coming. Twenty-five seconds and counting down as you can see. Round eight. in Atlantic City, round nine, and Bilal Muhammad, the manager of Matthew Saad Muhammad, is shaking his head. He, too, is concerned that this time his fighter will not have the resiliency of the past. There doesn't seem to be any snap, any spark. Braxton's tactics are unwavering. Doubled up on Saad Muhammad's face. Already the blood from Muhammad's nose. A minute into the ninth round. to alert our local stations along the line that at the end of this round we'll take a station break. And there is Braxton at it again. Blood all over the desk. In front of your reporter. 